Bridges are necessary to the infrastructure of our cities. The bridge engineers design the structure with the welfare of the public in mind. The bridge must be sturdy and aesthetically pleasing, such as the Hoover Dam Bridge pictured here. It must be able to endure the forces that typically act on the bridge, such as the weight of the bridge itself, the weight of cars and trucks, and wind. The bridge also must be visually appealing. Who would want an ugly looking bridge next to the iconic Hoover Dam? Now the engineer's goal is to make the bridge stand up under the typical forces noted previously. The actual design process of a bridge is complicated, and computer programs are utilized to analyze forces that act on the bridge. We will show a simplified version of analyzing the forces applied to the bridge. The concept of static equilibrium is used to verify that the bridge's supports can handle the forces that act on the bridge. Newton's second law gives us the equation force equals mass times acceleration. In static equilibrium, the acceleration of the bridge is equal to zero because the bridge is designed to be at rest. Therefore, static equilibrium gives us the equation the sum of forces is equal to zero. When forces are applied to the bridge, the bridge's supports react. Here's a free body diagram picturing forces acting on the bridge and the supports reaction forces. Using the equation sum of forces equals zero in the vertical direction, we see how we could begin to solve for the support reactions. Remember, this is a simplified version of analyzing forces using the concept of static equilibrium. There is much more that goes into the process for designing a bridge. Structural engineering design is crucial to the infrastructure of our cities. The engineer's goal is to build something that is sturdy and reliable and also visually appealing. There's a lot that goes into the process of designing a bridge, and the concept of static equilibrium is just one aspect used to analyze forces in a bridge design.